There's two types of theory or two techniques in introducing plastic to horses. Now, why would we want to get a horse used to plastic? Because if you can get your horse used to plastic, just about anything else that you go to use to do to your horse will seem relatively easy compared to plastic, as a general rule, that is, okay? I say nine out of 10 horses are frightened of plastic. One or maybe two out of 10 horses couldn't care less, but the majority of them are frightened of plastic because it's an object that moves and makes a noise, okay? So, the sneaky approach, there's two methods to using this. There's what we call the sneaky approach, and this is adopted by the Nagging Mothers Association. The sneaky approach is this is what they do. Whoa, whoa, precious. Whoa, hi, hi, hi. Whoa, it's, hi, it's all right. And they just sneak. Whoa, hi, 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 what's all that about? Whoa, whoa, it's all right. And they just sneak, sneak around the horse. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! Okay? That's the sneaky approach. Will the sneaky approach work? Yeah, it'll work. You just better be under 40, because if you're over 40, you'll be dead before it works, okay? Because it takes a hell of a long time. Then the other approach is the barbaric approach, the Barbarians Association. Well, how do they try to get the horse used to plastic bags? They chase the horse down with the plastic. They duct tape the plastic bags to the halter. They tie them to their tail. They duct tape them to the saddle. All popular methods in Alabama, duct tape and piggly wiggly bags, okay? Now, if you duct tape the bags to the horse's halter or tail or saddle, will they eventually get used to the plastic bags? Yes. But the chances of them killing themselves or hurting themselves or killing you is very, very high. Because if I tied the plastic bag to the halter and turned her loose, she would immediately go into flight response, wouldn't she? Run from danger. And because she runs from danger and she can't get away from the plastic, that's a high chance she'll run through a fence, she'll run into the barn, she'll break a neck, she'll run into a tree through panic. A lot of foals die every year in the country because they pick up a plastic bag out in the field and as soon as they pick it up and it flaps in their face, when a horse gets nervous, their mouth gets tight. And then they run. And because their mouth is tight, they won't, they, they're not actually, what, letting go of the plastic bag. If they would just open up their mouth, the plastic bag would come out. But horses cannot open their mouth when they're nervous. They've got to keep it tight. Okay? So, I, so that's what you call flooding. I don't recommend that technique. What I want to do is the complete opposite of what she's expecting. I actually want to walk away from her with the bag and say, listen, you don't have to be frightened of the plastic bag because the bag is far more frightened of you, okay? I'm going to actually run away from her with the bag. Anytime you've got a horse that's frightened of something, try to make that object... See, I'm not going to let it get close to me here, okay? Don't let it get close to you. Meaning that I don't want to be walking away and having her right behind my head. And she's going to want to usually speed up towards the gate. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of the fear to keep her away. But if you've got a horse that's frightened of something, walk away from them, okay? If your horse is frightened of sheep, llamas, cattle, okay, trucks, motorbikes, lawnmowers, if you can get that spooky object to move away from your horse, okay, it will build their confidence. Because anytime something's running away from a horse, what it does is it encourages their curiosity, okay? Like dogs and horses have this one thing in common. Dogs are what I call a brave coward. Have you ever noticed when you're out trail riding on your horse and a dog comes out and starts barking and chasing you, as long as you ride away from the dog, the dog's aggressive, isn't it? It barks at you, it's aggressive, it growls, okay? But if you turn around and you face the dog with your horse, what does the dog do then? He sticks his tail between his legs and he backs off a little bit, doesn't he? Okay? What happens if you actually chase the horse with your... Chase the dog, sorry, with your horse. You chase the dog with your horse. Then the dog runs away. Okay? So basically what I'm trying to say is as long as you're riding away from the dog, the dog's confident, the, the dog is aggressive. But as soon as you come back towards the dog, 
Now the dog's aggressive again, a coward again, okay? So basically what I want to do is I'm going to walk away from the horse, showing the horse that you don't need to be frightened of the bag. The bag's more frightened of you, okay? And this will build their confidence. So if you have a horse that's frightened of a motorbike, pay some kid five bucks to get on their motorbike and rev it up and down, and you, drive, and you walk behind the motorbike with your horse, or, or ride behind the motorbike with your horse, okay? That's it. So walk backwards and hop it across the ground. Or tease your horse with a little bit. You want it, and then you take it away. You want it, and then take it away. You want it, and then take it away. See how she's getting faster? Give me that bag, that's my bag. Give me that bag, I want it. That is my plastic bag. Look how fast she's getting, okay? Horses are just like kids. They always want what they can't have, okay? Same as husbands, okay? There we go. Ah, yeah. So build that curiosity. Let her say, hey, what is that plastic bag doing? I want to look at that plastic bag. Bring that bag back here. I wish you'd slow down. You see what happens? The more you run away, the braver they get. But the more you come at them, the more scared they get. So step one is just get the horse confident following the bag. Step two is get the horse confident with the bag moving around the horse. Okay? So I'm not going to try and touch it with the bag, am I? You always what? Desensitize the airspace first. Okay? And then retreat. Notice I stick the bag behind me. You don't want to stick the bag up under their nose 